We'll look at one more example of basically how to find excluded values from our domain. So here we go. Uh, first thing I would do is I would factor my denominator. There's a common factor of 4, and that leaves me x squared plus 1. Uh, as you can see, this is a, a nonlinear binomial, so I'd try to factor it, but there is no sum of squares, so therefore it's unfactorable. Uh, when I set my denominator equal to 0, again, this number 4 here, I don't need to worry about. Okay, 4 is not going to gonna make me have 0 in my denominator. So when I set this equal to 0 and solve, I get x squared equal to negative 1, take the square root of both sides, and you'll get x is equal to plus or minus, and this is actually going to be i. We'll talk about that later when we get into complex numbers. But as you can see, those are non-real numbers. Okay, so for the excluded values from our domain, we have, in this case, we have no excluded values because the excluded values that we uh, found in this one were imaginary. Uh, remember, what we're trying to do is we're plugging in real numbers into our domain. So x can be any real number we want. Uh, the fact that it can't be uh, plus or minus i isn't going to affect the real numbers. So there are no excluded values in a problem like this.